Now we will begin the installation of the Play SMS application. For this, you need to go to the SourceForge website and download the latest version of the Play SMS application. So, as you can see, the latest version is 1.3.1. So, click on it, uh, then right click on the 1.3.1.tart.gz, then click on copy link address, then go to your server. A duplicate paste it and press enter okay it has been <coughs> downloaded in your computer and you can see it by pressing ls so it will be named as download next we will extract uh, the downloaded archive into the user local source folder press enter okay the extraction is some for verification we will just see the folder contents of the src folder so, yes it is there play sms we will enter into that folder and we will copy the default configuration file and Change its extension to dot conf. Next, let us view the contents of the dot conf file and make changes as required. Okay, so this is the area where you need to follow minutely because here are all the database related configurations you need to make. So, as you can remember from our previous video. That is, we have installed the PHP MyAdmin application uh, through which we can create new databases. Okay, so and let us create a new database using the PHP MyAdmin application. From the database tab, click on the database tab, then here give a database name, for example, ASMS. Has been created. Click on Play SMS Privileges. See the root access is already there. Then we need to and click Pass. Control X, then we must start the install script. So you can even uh, so you can install Play SMS using either the installation script which has been provided by Play SMS, and that is the most easiest way of installing the Play SMS application. Also, you can install Play SMS manually, which is not recommended if you are a beginner. Yes, take the above configuration status, press yes, then press yes, wait for some time as it installs the required packages and the installation Okay, so the installation is completed. The next immediate step is to enable the play, uh, play SMS during runtime. So every time you reboot your server, so that the Play SMS daemon starts automatically without any user interference. So for that reason, we need to edit the nano etc slash rc dot local file. And just before the exit zero line, we need to add. This statement Control O, Control 
x okay next let us go to the web browser see all the tables are created in the play sms database the databases are synced properly let's go to table number five slash sms okay this is your name and your default that is admin and password also admin now comes to the verification part so first what we will verify is uh, if the processes of the play sms systems are running or not so for that we will be using the process list process list we can find that the play sms is on that is play sms b is running so that means it is running successfully next verification it is running then also we can just check and okay so everything is working well this completes the basic installation of the play sms application and we'll see further configurations in the next video